Hello everybody! I'm going to talk a little louder because I'm in a parking lot and there's a lot of vehicles here. I'm at the Milwaukee VA, so anyways, I want to discuss my experience when it comes to parental estrangement and how I tell <laughs> individuals my daughters still kept in contact with or associated with or whatever the case may be all the players in the game per se my daughters are both estranged for about 14 years now and there was a time they cut off a lot of people in our inner circle it's just the way it was they had limited contact with my grandmother um, i don't think any contact with my mom I think they cut a lot of the family off, per se, but they did still keep in contact with um, my oldest sister, I think some of my nieces and nephews, and of course their dad. Um, my daughters have different biological fathers, so I'd say their dads, and other people that weren't associated with me, they had relationships with those individuals. Well, when it comes to people who are still in contact with, that were still in contact with my estranged children, I can't tell you how hurtful it was because I found that my estranged, my adult daughters, they controlled the narrative. They controlled the situation. They would tell people, you can't tell my mom anything. Don't tell her anything. We, And I know that certain people would say to them why don't you give your mom a call and they said well we don't want to and we don't want to talk about her so they would stop really asking and talking about me and not even push the issue and they I was told um, by one of my sisters that as soon as she saw an opening that she would definitely start talking about it or mention it or if she saw one of them was open to communicating a possible relationship reconciliation and so I just for me found it very difficult because I want to hang out with people who have my back and I know it's really hard to say cut contact with your loved ones or with your siblings if they still talk to your daughters when we think well that's the only time we're ever going to find out about our kids if they're alive or dead or happy or sad but for me personally I choose to associate with people who associate with others who are kind to me estrangement has got to be for some one of the most unkind things when you don't get a resolution when you have no idea what you did didn't do um, and another thing is my daughters both spoke with my oldest sister who has always been jealous of me and so when I did see my oldest sister she would rub it in my face well first of all she lied and then she rubbed it in my face for instance I would ask my sisters do you talk to my kids do you see them have you seen pictures of my grandkids and they'd always say no but then I remember I was at my sis oldest sister's house visiting and somehow she had pictures of my daughter's children on her phone and it came about where she admitted the year prior so this was kept a secret from me for a year that my youngest daughter had had her first child and had asked my oldest sister to meet at my maternal grandmother's house so she could introduce her to her first great-great-grandchild and nobody told me nobody said a word <laughs> that they had met and that my oldest sister got to actually meet my granddaughter and subsequent my grandchildren so first of all I don't want to be in relationships where I'm lied to and second of all I'm not going to allow my daughters to control the narrative <laughs> in my life or other people's lives I, I just can't I can't be in that type of situation so if you want to choose to remain friends with or have relationships with people who are in your strange daughter's life that's that's your thing I personally cannot do it I just can't so that's 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 just 
my thought, my idea, and I hope it helps. Um, you can do what you want. I'm not telling you what to do. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't have someone in my life that is in a relationship with my estranged children when they don't mean me well at all. It's, it doesn't work. <laughs> I want relationships that flow. I'm friends with you and you're friends with her. And we, if we all gather together, we can all sit and talk because we all have things in common and we all like each other and we can have a cohesive relationship or even a conversation. So that's how I gauge my relationships. So that's all there is to it. I'll be back.